Right, today we're going to do more Python and we're going to learn about a different variable today. We've kind of uh, looked at how we can actually take a user input for string, which means text, okay, or symbols. And we simply, uh, anything we want to display, we can just write print. And we ask the user to, for example, enter his name. Okay, so enter name. Okay, so the user will actually, this will be actually dis displayed on the user screen. And then we need to now create a variable that can hold a piece of data. So we, let's call it name and type in input. And now, okay, input, let me get this right. Okay, now, um, the you, whenever they actually use the types in his name, now that piece of data can go into this variable called name. Okay, we can actually reuse this, this piece of data, whatever the user inputs. So I just simply type in, Okay, print, and that will be displayed on the screen and say hello. And then if I just simply, okay, separate that and then just write the name of the variable, then whatever the user actually types in, okay, let me get this right. Uh, whatever the user actually types in, that would be displayed. So it would be say hello and then the name, whatever the user actually types in, whatever name he actually types in every time you run the program. Now, when it comes to integer variable, it's slightly different. Okay, you can't just call it a name of a variable and that would work. You have to do something slightly differently. So let's just ask a user first, okay, to enter something that relates to a number. So let's say enter age, for example, because that's a number. So he asked the user to enter a age, okay. So now we need to take that piece of information, which is a number, into a variable. Now, to do that, obviously, we have to declare it as an in integer variable. We, so if you use a variable called age, and then we have to declare as integer, you've in, uh, int for integer, and then use use your uh, input function, which is input, open bracket, close bracket. Okay. Now that piece of data can be now used. So if the user en enters an age in a number format, that can be used to actually uh, do comparisons, to do calculations, to all that stuff. I'm just going to simply actually print it on the screen to show you how to actually use that same number does come up, whatever the user types in. So I'm just going to write, so you are, okay, and then just reuse that variable age again, just like before, just type in age, and the A number will actually appear, whatever that number the actual user types in. Okay, so that's the program. Let's run the program and see how it works. Okay, so enter name, so I'm just going to type in my name, okay, and I'm just going to give some random number, 120, years old maybe okay and there you go it actually works and that's how you actually create an integer variable if you want to use it for number